My name is Michael Scheimer and I'm with New Space on the Space Coast and I'm coming to you live as a member of the press from Yuri's Night 2019 at the Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex. Should be a fun evening of dancing underneath the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Space Shuttle, what is that? They hadn't launched those when I was starting out reporting. But here we are and it should be a great night to celebrate human space flight. Parties all around the world, Yuri's Night. 2019 at Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex. Be back with you soon. So I'm back again here at Yuri's Night 2019 at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Center, and I have Everyday Astronaut with yeah. me. Uh, it should be a phenomenal event. This is a first for me. This is a first for uh, you. I had to time hop to come up here from the from the 60s. From so, the 60s. Yeah, they talk well, about the shuttle thing. I've never heard of it. No, you haven't heard of that. And also, you probably aren't aware of like uh, self-landing vertical liquid-fueled rocket boosters either. Reusable even. I think you're talking science fiction for me, but I'm going to take your word yep, for it. Yep, just like the 40s. Just like the 40s. Yep. Yes. Okay, now we're speaking the same <laughs> yeah, language. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. All right, so let's have fun at Yuri's Night 2019 right. Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex. Yeah, absolutely. All right. right, pleasure meeting you. You too. The Falcon Heavy is making its debut back at Kennedy Space Center. Perfect launch and landing. <laughs> oh, and there he goes. What a perfect recreation of an awesome spectacle and a launch. Coming to you from Yuri's Night 2019. Yeah. This is Michael Scheimer. Back to you. All right, we are through security and we are at the foot of the Space Shuttle Atlantis at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Center for Yuri's Night 2019 at Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex. So, as you can see, the crowd is building, the excitement is building, and the anxiousness for this wonderful celebration of human space flight worldwide and the Space Shuttle right immediately over my shoulder and in all of its splendor and glory. Let's go check out the rest of the events. Alright, so we are in the VIP lounge, uh, more than just the press corps in here, all the very important people for Yuri's Night 2019 at Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex. Got some hors d'oeuvres and other offerings, and hopefully we'll run into a few VIPs like myself. the moonwalker right here with us. Um, he's a very talkative fellow when you get to meet him without his helmet on, but for right now, you know, he's trying to keep that oxygen at the right levels. All right, there we go. Yuri's Night 2019, Kennedy Space Center, Florida. It's a great party. Hope you enjoy it. And I want you to make it a priority to create new friendships, to learn new things, and make some memories that'll last a lifetime. I love Yuri's Night. <laughs> Uh, so when we started Yuri's Night back in 2001, back in 2001, that was a futuristic date. Helping us figure out the culture that we wanted to bring with us out into space. We're going to be the founders of the next uh, phase of human evolution. we gotta, we got to get it, get it started right. So in case you're wondering why I have this fantastic getup on, it is because on the nose of our spaceship, we have, um, is graced with a woman we call Galactic Girl. 
and she is actually modeled after Richard Branson, our founder's uh, mother. His mother's name is Eve, and uh, she was an air hostess back in like the 40s or something before they had like pressurized airplanes and it was really hardcore. So she's awesome. Those are the sketches of her. So yes, so I'm a galactic girl tonight. Um, uh, out in Mojave, the Mojave Desert, which is where I'm from, this is our next door neighbors. Um, Virgin Galactic's hangar and the Strato hangar are like a hundred yards from each other. So like, good morning, huh? good morning, you know. I'm gonna taxi today. Oh, I'm gonna taxi today too. So um, we're very, I'm very uh, proud to see their uh, successful launch today. It was fabulous work. So we have a lot to celebrate tonight. So let's go ahead and get this party started to kick things off. We have an extra special welcome. Yeah, I'm Kelvin. I'm Kelvin Manning. Uh, if you haven't seen the Ask Kelvin exhibit upstairs, hey, go check it out. So I'd like to officially welcome you to the John F. Kennedy Space Center, the nation's premier multi-user spaceport. Hey, 2019 Yuri's Night at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex under the Space Shuttle Atlantis. How cool is that? So think about it. I don't know if you knew that TripAdvisor ranks this visitor complex one of the top 10 museums in the whole country. Also, the number one out of the top 40 things to do in Titusville, Florida. How about that? <laughs> okay, so we're trying to do it all here at the Kennedy Space Center. I like to tell people, well, well what do we do? Well, we keep the wheels turning, the lights burning, the workforce turning, so the rockets are flying, politicians buying, satellites soaring, astronauts exploring, so the kids will learn and the public will yearn for America's space program. That's what we do. So this year, of course, we're gonna celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 crew landing on the moon. Who would have thought that, you know, 50 years have gone by and we hadn't sent somebody back to the moon? 1972, who was the last person to walk on the moon? Gene Cernan, that's right. But you know, just a few weeks ago, the vice president gave us a mandate, gave NASA a mandate to put humans back on the moon by 2024. That's pretty exciting. So it's gonna start right here at the Kennedy Space Center with our exploration ground systems team preparing the ground infrastructure for Orion and the space launch system. But before that, our NASA commercial crew program, we're gonna, we're gonna launch a United States astronaut on a US vehicle on US soil by the end of this year. SpaceX and Boeing, we'll see who happens, but that's exciting. So what's our job? Our job, collectively, is to expand the human presence across the solar system, return to the moon, onto the surface of Mars, to advance exploration, science, innovation, benefits to humanity, and international collaboration. That's what we're all here for. Thank you very much. New Space on the Space Coast, I am with Mr. Garriott, who has been to space 10 years ago, one of our great astronauts here from the United States, and a wonderful human being. I'd thank like you, to uh, uh, appreciate you for being here for Yuri's Night 2019. Oh, I'm thrilled to be here. I was actually at Yuri's Night immediately after my flight as well. I think oh, really? it's actually my third in total. But uh, Yuri's Night, you know, inspiring people to push our country and our government to do more of this is uh, time well spent. Glad to be here. I am so appreciative of everybody's efforts and you did a great job. So thank, thank you, John. Appreciate it. I'm uh, here speaking about SEDS at UCF, my alma mater. Uh, actually, how did I attend there? Because uh, I graduated before the school was open. Okay, anyhow, what is it that you all are doing? Um, so we are working on a project to send a hybrid motor rocket to 10,000 feet in a competition in New Mexico. Okay. It's called the International Rocketry Engineering Competition. Okay. Um, and so yeah, this year we have a really exciting project. Um, we got, it's about a 14 foot rocket. Um, and in order to get as close to 10,000 feet as possible, we're actually using an air brake system this year. Oh really? Um, and so yeah, that's one of the exciting new developments, I guess. All right, all right. So what is the ultimate goal of the project? Um, so the goal in the competition, basically, um, it's scored by both a combination of like, quality engineering in your report and getting as close to 10,000 feet as possible. Um, yeah, and so the goal is to build a well-documented, well-done project um, that also is able to reach as close as it possibly can to 10,000 feet. Well, 
Well, I absolutely hope you guys accomplish that goal. UCF is my alma mater. Great school, great program. So, hey, thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Think about uh, very nice We love it. We're fun. Have you had having a blast. blast? Oh, yeah. What was the best thing? Oh, yeah. My costume. Oh, that? My costume? Your costume. My yes, costume. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Scheimer, your intrepid reporter, reporting to you one last time from Yuri's Night at Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex in Florida, 2019, Yuri's Night. This is in the books, and it was a great event. As you can see right here underneath the space shuttle, everybody having fun. If you ever get a chance to do a Yuri's Night, make sure you uh, set time for that. It's a great experience, can't be missed.